Well, today marks National Human Trafficking Awareness Day, and we're taking a little bit of time this morning to make sure you know the signs of human trafficking and who you can contact if you need to report this crime. Joining us now is Ellis Stafford, the Deputy Director of the Detroit Crime Commission. Good morning, Ellis. Thanks for being here with us. Good morning, Ellie. Thank you for having me. So just for people that may not know, what is the Detroit Crime Commission and what do they do? Well, at the top is a, is a couple of retired law enforcement executives uh, to supporting us as our intelligence analysts. And what we try to do is be a partner between our public agencies and our community uh, to help build a safer community so we all can live, learn, and work in. And what are some of the signs of human trafficking? Because people may be seeing things that they don't even know is human trafficking. They might be missing something. You're exactly right. Uh, human trafficking in Detroit area did take a little dip because of COVID. We went from like up a number of top three down to 11. But some of the signs you want to look for, when it went underground, you want to look for residential type of trafficking, where you have a house where maybe all the windows are covered covered, women that don't make any contact with the neighbors, sort of like drug deals. You'll see people coming in and out all times of the night. However, different than a drug deal is that uh, mostly they're men, and mostly they'll stay for 10, 15, 20 minutes, but this will go on all night. Uh, if you see those kind of signs and the hairs on the back of your neck are standing up, ideally you want to call 911. Believe it or not, Allie, there are some people that are just really reluctant to call the police. You can call us, and what we'll do is put our analysts on it try to mine as much data as we can. And when we get enough, we pass it on to law enforcement. Again, keeping that caller anonymous. And what is your phone number for people that don't know? You know I can give them my uh, phone number. So 313-806-9416. Again, that's 313-806-9416. They can always go to our website and leave a tip there. Uh, either way, uh, give us a call. It's better to be safe than sorry. And uh, when is a good time to talk to your kids about human trafficking? Because it, it really is such a, it's a heavy topic, but it's so important to educate your children so they don't become victims themselves. Well, you're exactly right. I don't, I think probably around middle school, uh, 13, I usually tell people when you see, uh, because most human trafficking is labor. In this country, we, send it, we tend to focus on the sexual part of it. With that in mind, I would say once you have a child that is old enough to start showing signs of puberty, uh, you probably want to engage them against the, the real threat, not so much of being kidnapped and sold into some type of modern day slavery, but being groomed and then turned into a, a human trafficking victim, which is similar to what uh, Jeffrey Epstein's assistant was, uh, was convicted of. Mm -hmm. Knowing those grooming signs and speaking of just Epstein in general, I think a lot of people see this as maybe a city problem where it's not happening in their community, it's happening in big cities. Where does this happen? It happens everywhere and it could happen next door. It could happen, actually happen in your house. Uh, all the victims are somebody's sons or daughters. Uh, so it can happen anywhere. Uh, this, uh, the trick is to be mindful of your child's behavior. Is there a change in their behavior? Do they have different friends? Are they hanging out in places or at times that they normally did not? Uh, I like to tell, uh, we have a class, we've kind of switched our efforts to preventing. But one of the things we tell parents is parenting is a participatory sport. I would love to be my, the friend of my daughters, but I have to be the parent first. And that means knowing what they're doing, knowing who they're hanging out with, knowing who they're talking to, and everything uh, in their life until they get to a point where I just have to be a coach. And where can people go to learn more information? Uh, like they can come to uh, the Detroit Crime Commission website, www.detroitcrimecommission.org, one big long word. Uh, or they can give us a call. We have, actually, we have two videos online. One we did last year with a reformed pimp uh, who, who talks about how he turns out young girls. Uh, we also have a training video online, so both of which can be accessed via our website. Important information to know this morning. Ellis Stafford, Deputy Director, Detroit Crime Commission, thank you for being here with us and sharing your insight. Thank you, Ellie. Appreciate it. Of course.